Hello everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're finally back inside of Disney California Adventure. There's a lot of new stuff happening here at Disney California Adventure, including a new food item at Lamplight Lounge, a new change to Mickey's Phil Our Magic, boozy drinks at Snowman's Frosted Treats, new photo ops, and dining is back inside at Carthay Circle with new menu items. The main reason we're here is because I got that reservation at Carthay, and then there just happened to be all this other stuff here too. So how about you come along with us on this adventure. Yeah, what he said. Minnie, have you eaten at Carthay Circle since it reopened? Yeah? <laughs> was it good? <laughs> a couple months ago, entertainment was something you had to like stumble upon. But pro tip, now you can go into the Disneyland app, you do a search for what you're looking for. You're looking for Spider-Man, you're looking for Five and Dime, and you can actually find the show times for when these things are actually happening. And also another pro tip, the, the show times happen a lot more during the weekends than on the weekdays. Later tonight we have dining reservations for Carthay Circle Restaurant, which as you know is a replica of the Carthay Circle Theater, which in the 1930s was the venue, the premier venue for Snow White when Walt Disney came to Hollywood with a suitcase and a dream. He premiered Snow White here, the first fully animated, full color motion picture of his kind. And it's actually kind of cool that Snow White is doing like meet and greets right across from Carthay Circle Theater because she has the, the legacy here. But we, we've eaten here during like I think the, the Touch of Disney events. That was outside. Now they have a full new menu inside. So we're excited to show you that. Over in Hollywood land, Smoothies has reopened. So we're gonna try to get some kind of slush or some kind of cold drink because it is a hot one today. And that's a great place to get all your smoothies and all your frozen drinks. They have what is called an affogato, which is just vanilla ice cream with a shot of espresso poured over it. This is a delicacy. This thing is such a treat. And they said to ask about their seasonal ice cream flavors. Right now they only have vanilla, but I'm guessing like throughout the year you could get it with like peppermint or pumpkin or whatever, but it's good with vanilla. How do I drink it? With a spoon? I got a spoon, a straw. I'm just, just going to do without either. I grabbed all this stuff for no reason. <laughs> Cheers. This is dangerous. I love this because it has the bitterness of the coffee mixed with the creamy, like sugariness of the ice cream. Like you don't need to add any extra flavoring because the ice cream gives you all the flavor that you need. Calories don't count at Disney, including coffee. Don't go to Starbucks, just come here and get this. <laughs> five out of five kitchens. So as we were celebrating Disneyland's birthday over across the way, they updated Mickey's Fill Our Magic with Coca. Look at these little guys right here. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you so much. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. 
I miss the Muppets. I know. Oh my god, why'd you have to remind me? Well, I was just thinking, I looked up there and I was like, uh, That makes me really sad. It's okay. We got Coco now. That's right, buddy. I gotta be honest, I was a little cynical about this because they haven't updated the show in over 10 years. And it was like, what is Coco, a Pixar film? How is that gonna mix with all these classic Disney animated films? But it worked so well. Yeah, it was so cute. I don't know why, but that made me really emotional. Like I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Not just because of Coco, like the whole thing. It's just like the Disney songs and stuff. I don't know, that was so great. It, made, it really did make me wish that like they would just redo the whole thing and put all new animation and stuff in there. But I kind of there's something charming about the old animation yeah. too. Maybe like every couple years they'll like add a new scene from a new Disney classic in there. Yeah. I'd love to see like Moana. Yeah. Disney, add Moana. Yeah. There we go. Add Moana, and then I'll cry again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> so now that that's done, we want to head over to Lamplight Lounge because they have a new food item that we want to try. And I don't know if many people know this. But you can actually join the waitlist on the app. You just click join mobile waitlist, but turns out we were too far away. You gotta be like really close. Yeah, so let's go over there and get your food. But it says estimated 40 minute wait time. That's so not we, bad. Looks like you can get in. Awesome. We decided to stop into knickknacks for some much needed AC. That's not something I've never seen before. I'm sure they've had it. But they have those are so cute. Yeah, when I was oh, in Mexico City, gosh. they sold these things but they weren't you know coco they were like of the real ones like any tourist stop you went to so now it's it's cool that they sell the coco ones those are so fun yeah. oh my gosh i want one of each <laughs> i love all this art they have on the wall from all the pixar films i just noticed this one from presto do i need it i probably do they now have a wishables pin set oh no what are they trying to do to me they got mickey and his his little outfit. What other ones do they have? And of course it's a mystery box, so Kitra. Oh my god. Oh my god, they have some random ones in there, but they have like Chuby from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and they have some of the um, the country bears. Oh my god, and then they have Mickey and Minnie like in their space suits. Oh no, I don't even collect pins, but I want this because they're so cute. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> Put it back. Why'd you have to show me this? $29.99 for a pin? Or is I, it multiple pins? I think you get multiple pins. That seems pins crazy. For 30 bucks. Uh looks like you get five. Five randomly selected pins. What if you got all five of like Peter Pan? I'm sure it has to be five different ones. <laughs> you right? think so? I would hope. <laughs> and as Kitra was putting that back, I noticed this. Disney Boy Band Weekly. Oh my god. It's going off of like those 90s like teen magazines. Yeah, hello. I had all those magazines and I had all those posters up on my wall. Oh my god, these are so ridiculous. Yeah, I saw these online and I knew you'd like these. These are really you cool. Know I knew you'd like these? Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I love that. They had old ears that were kind of like. Yeah, that, they're right but, here. I was oh. going to point those out. These are the old style, equally as cute, to be honest. Yeah. They, this one also has. But these have the Toy Story wallpaper wall. Yeah. Right? Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> it's been quite a while since we've been back to Lamplight Lounge and we are sitting up on the upper area and the menu is 
slightly different. It's a little bit more limited up here. They just have more of a selection downstairs. But one of the things that is special for up here and that you could only get up here is the pork belly balmy Brussels sprouts. That is why we are here today. Peter is a connoisseur of balmy. <laughs> I didn't know if you guys knew that. Now you know. So he, he's yeah, got to try these. I don't know how I feel about the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are good, man. I feel like Brussels sprouts get a bad rap and they're actually like so good. So I have a feeling these are going to be really good. Just, you know, everything here is good. So I have a feeling these are going to also be good. <laughs> this has garlic, togarashi, aioli, sweet glazed pork belly, pickled carrots, and decon. Jalapenos and cucumbers with cilantro and what are those called? Like uh, they're not quite pork rinds. They're not pork rinds. What do you call it? Chicharron. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> yeah. But look at this. This looks so fancy. And I love pork belly. I'm a really big fan of pork belly. And also, this has that tagarachi aioli that they have over at Trader Sam's. Yeah, so I think that's that right yeah. there. Really, Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna give a five Peters for Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are good. I don't know why you keep hating on them. So good. That spicy tagarashi aioli is great. Here's some of the little bits of pork belly. And I'm gonna agree with Peter here. This gets a five out of five. This gets an ordinary adventure star. This is really, really flavorful. Really good. One of my new favorite things here. I just wanna say, I was focusing on the Brussels sprouts and the pork belly before the pickled vegetables to make this really taste like a balmy sandwich. Mm -hmm. So if you like balmies, I mean, I'm a connoisseur. You are. Yeah, we didn't like this at all. We're practically <laughs> licking the plate clean. It's not good. <laughs> Next up, we're going to the adorable Frosted Snowman Treats. Wait, they... Adorable Snowman Frosted Treats. What did I say? Adorable <laughs> Frosted Snowman Fake Treats. Fake fan. <laughs> Next up, we're going to adorable Frosted Snowman Treats. Next up, we're going to Adorable Snowman's Frosted Treats because they have some new alcoholic beverages that just landed on the menu. And you know that we gotta try those out. It's like bubbling. See that? It's like, drink me, please. <laughs> please drink me. And here's the other one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Have a good one. Thank you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's do this. This is called the Pixar Pure Frosty Parfait with Blue Curacao. This is a non-dairy lemon dolce with blue curacao and blue raspberry. It's basically like the one that's already there except they added that blue curacao alcohol. It's so beautiful. Like I almost don't want to eat it. Do you taste the alcohol? Oh my god, yeah. When I took that sip, I did. It tastes like a blue raspberry slushy. This is a five, no questions about it. it is kind of messy. Gotta eat it while it's, well, you know, quick before it melts. But besides that, it gets a five. Well, I got the It's Chili Lime Mango Margarita. This has mango soft serve with tequila, chamoy, chili lime seasoning, and diced mangoes. I'm a connoisseur of margaritas. This looks like unlike any margarita I've ever had. Margaritas usually don't have soft serve in them, do they? They don't. Three, two, one, go! To be honest with you, this place has never had alcoholic offerings before. This is brand new, so I'm excited to try it. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> can you taste the tequila? You can taste it when you get some of the like liquid. Kind of have to mix it around. You know how if you go to like a fruit vendor and they have like mangoes and they put a tahini and stuff on it that's what this tastes like yeah this is such like an la specific thing that's why i have a oh bunch is that of... not a thing like around the world no it's i mean it is but it's like really popular in california so i think that's why they have they have a lot of stuff like this like they have something at the tropical hideaway like they're always coming out with these kind of like the green milk uh with the stuff in galaxy's edge yeah yeah it's melting rapidly it's like the witch. I'm melting. <laughs> Look at him. I'm melting. I know, I'm having flashbacks to when we got all those Halloween treats and we got to eat it quick. <laughs> Look at that melted. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> it's all over your nose. Okay, I'm going to eat this. Five out of five beaters. Highly yeah. recommend. I guess just everybody wants to be eating like snow with pee in it or whatever it's supposed to be based on. <laughs> Isn't that weird that Disney, first of all, in a kid's movie, 
put a joke about snow with pee, and then now in a theme park has a, a place where they sell <laughs> the pea snow. I love it. I love it too. <laughs> we actually ended up switching. I'm drinking the mango. He's drinking the other one. That's how good they I are. I like the mango, but by the way, this looks so cool. It does. Yeah, this has like the Instagram appeal. Yeah. But it also, I like, you know, I'm not a big mango guy, but I really did like that when my hat's on, like, sideways. You're fine. You're not seeing my, uh, Baby Yoda. But, oh, this is Baby Yoda colored. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they just called it the Grogu guy. Yep. But it's just funny, because I actually like mango more than him, so we actually, I don't know why we reviewed it the way we, we did. I mean, I like them both, but I think this one is, like, way better. Shit it! So located right behind Jumping Jellyfish is a photo for Luca. This Luca photo op! The most exciting thing about it is the cat! It's just with the cat, which is the best part of that movie. I'm just surprised people can find this because it's like hidden. It is. Oh my god. I have been looking forward to this for so long and we're finally here and I can finally get my photo. <laughs> What's his name? Bruno? Yes. Or no. Was it? No, Bruno was the guy on your shoulder that you're... Ma oh, Silencio what Bruno. Name? I know. Oh my god, why am I forgetting? Machiavelli? It's fine. It doesn't matter. I love him. I'm a fake fan. It's okay. Can we get my phone out now? I've been waiting all day for this. All the details here, from the signs, to the baskets, to the sea monster. Like, this is stuff that was created for animation, and they brought it to life just for this one photo op. Oh, yeah. There's fish over here. Look at this guy. Yeah, you know what I'm telling you. Disney Plus is paying the bills for these photo ops. They must be. There's so many photo ops and they're all brought to you by Disney Plus. But so, yeah. But this is the best one. But he right, is more, the best character. He's so grumpy. Photo. The time has come. We're about to go into Carthay Circle. It's been so long. And I'm wearing my best outfit. <laughs> Me and you are dressed for the occasion. This is kind of like a fancy restaurant, so you know I had to dress nice. <laughs> so Carthay Circle, if you've never been to it, is very upscale. You almost feel weird being in here in t-shirts and shorts and sandals, but it's kind of modeled after the Carthay Circle Theater where Snow White premiered. And they have reopened the inside dining. They had El Fresco dining, which we did and was great but wasn't as good as the inside dining so I'm curious about this. The big controversy is they've they've kind of redone the entire menu. There's some signature dishes that were here like the firecracker duck wings are missing from the menu. They had these biscuits that were really good missing oh. from the menu. I think the pork chop is like one of the only things that is still here that was here before. The menu is almost completely new which is Except for the drinks. The drinks are the same. Which is exciting, but also Scary. all of our stuff is gone. And also they've been making changes since they've reopened. Like they reopened with like the $75 20 ounce steak. I'm guessing nobody bought it because now it's like 50 something <laughs> and it's a few ounces smaller. So I'm guessing they're gonna be rejiggering the menu over in the next couple months. But bring back the duck wings and the biscuits. What the heck? <laughs> Just the biscuits. That's all I care about. I like both. <laughs> One of our favorite things about Carthay Circle isn't just the food, it's actually the drinks. They have some really good cocktails here. My favorite that I get every single time is called Pim's Punch. And this has Pim's number one liqueur, Plymouth gin, strawberry, and lemonade. And I know that sounds like a random assortment of flavors but you just gotta trust me. It is so, so good and it's cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I love it. I mean, it being cute isn't a reason to order it, but you know, maybe it is, I don't know. Oh my God. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like, it tastes like strawberry lemonade, but it also tastes like a Pez, like a melted Pez. I don't know. It's amazing, five out of five. And my go-to drink here is the Carthay Mai Tai. And that has Surf Rider rum, Luxardo, maraschino, and origat, pineapple, and fresh lime, and grapefruit juice. It's topped with Meyer's original dark rum, garnished with an orange wedge, and a Luxardo cherry. And like I said, this is one of my favorites here. A little stronger than uh -oh. I remember being. Uh-oh. That's not a bad thing. Five Peters. <laughs> and our appetizers just arrived. Yeah. 
We got this cute little bread. Look at it. The question is, is it going to be better than the biscuits that came here for free? Wait, were they free? Yeah. Or no, you had to pay for them. Had to pay for them? Yeah. 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 What's free in Disney? Nothing. <laughs> First up, we're going to try these rolls. And we got the warm cheddar parkhouse rolls. They're $10. And they come with a chili pine nut riscato sauce. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like food porn. Yeah, it looks like they like... Yeah, that's the cheese, I think. The cheese? Yeah. Yeah. I do... These rolls are too big to like dip in here, but... <laughs> I'll do that. Look at how orange that is. Oh. That's a lot of sauce. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. Are you supposed to use your knife? Probably. Probably supposed to use a button. You're not supposed to dip it. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> we don't know how to go to a fancy... Okay. Like expensive restaurants. <laughs> Try this ten dollar bread. Is it worth ten dollars? No. Oh no. As fancy as this looks and as cool as this looks, I think like butter, old fashioned butter, on here would just do it so much better. Well, they did. They used to serve you bread, you know, free bread, and for some reason they don't do that anymore. So now you have to pay for this. Bread. I know the reason. Disney lost a lot of money last year. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're gonna give it like a three and a half out of five. Peters. It's definitely not bad. It's just definitely not as good as the old uh, biscuits, and they could do bad. We also got the artichoke parmesan fritters, and this comes with capers and a roasted red bell pepper relish. These are so cute. I love them already. And I just met them and I love them. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is just like artichoke mixed with cheese, <laughs> deep fried. Fancy way of saying it. All right. Why is this orange too? Look how orange that is. Do we just order like all the like neon orange items in here? These are good. Wow, they don't really taste like an artichoke or parmesan. I don't know what that flavor is, but it is good. So while these were definitely a surprise and not what I was expecting flavor-wise, I still think they probably get like a four out of five. They're really good, but it doesn't quite get the Kitra seal of approval. They're no I mean? crispy duck Why do you have to keep bringing up the old stuff? We talked to our server and we were like, bring back the biscuits. She's like, we had the biscuits here for nine years and the chef wanted to try something different. So I don't want to move on. I'm not ready to move on. Hashtag bring back the biscuits. And duck wings. And duck wings. Make that trend, people. <laughs> Aside from the food and drinks here, I just really love like the old school Hollywood elegance of this place. It just feels classic. It also has touches of Disney, like the ceiling is actually the background cell animations for Snow White. There's even some stuff hidden in the tables. So if you look closely, you can see the evil magic mirror right in the table right there. And they have these private rooms off to the corners. Each one is named after a street or area of Los Angeles. At some point I want to come back here with like a group of friends so we can actually take over one of those like little private nooks. That'd be so fun. Yeah. For my entree I got the grilled New York steak and this comes with cream corn, hush puppies, Ooh. and a raspberry chimichurri sauce oh that's over the top. Oh my god, it looks so interesting. I was not expecting it to look like that. And then you got hush puppies? What? Like melts in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know about this raspberry puree thing. Yeah. So it's good. It gives it like a nice sweetness. This is just like just so buttery goodness. I love it. Five out of five people. Yeah. Finally, I got my Carthay Circle. Carthay has been redeemed. Redeemed. <laughs> that said, I used to get the ribeye. Bring back the ribeye. <laughs> Everything's good here. That's the problem. You it, really it, can't go wrong. Yeah. Everything is amazing here. Uh, it's just we have memories with these other amazing things. <laughs> For my entree, I decided to get the fish of the day, and that fish of the day happens to be red snapper. This comes with a mango salad, Hawaiian black beans, and an avocado coconut broth. Poured over the avocado broth in front of us, and it was so exciting. I wasn't planning to get this. There was something else on the menu, but when I read that it came with the black beans and the mango and the Hawaiian, I don't know. I just really wanted to try it. Look at that. 
Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I already know this is gonna be good. <laughs> so flavorful. Oh my gosh. It's like a creamy, coconutty avocado. It definitely tastes the lime. Like it's it's almost like I know it's supposed to be Hawaiian inspired, but it almost kinda tastes like Thai food. But oh my gosh, you guys, this freaking red snapper is cooked to perfection. You said that your steak melted in your mouth. I'm pretty sure this did the same thing. And that's when you know that like it's good. It's not overdone. It is just perfect. Show yourself. Show yourself. See, I remember the words. Show yourself. It was supposed to be like she was singing. Show yourself. She heard me singing, got him embarrassed now. I know we didn't ride any rides today, but if you want to check out when we rode a bunch of rides, we went on the VIP tour and we'll put the video right over there. We rode so many rides that day. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Alyssa and Jordan Grubbs, Lisa Garcia, JD Cook, and the Ulet family. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.